All right, welcome back, guys and girls, to another episode with myself, Luke. So I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. So in today's episode, it's going to be a quick one. We're going to look at the Bitcoin technicals in just a second and also the Bitcoin dominance, as you can see on my screen uh, right now. We're going to look at that and what it means for the upcoming altcoin season. Could we be on the verge or on the cusp of a massive altcoin season this summer? Could it be a repeat of that DeFi summer we had a few years ago. So stay tuned to the very end. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button, that bell notification, every button you can think of um, so that you can uh, keep up to date with my video. So let's go into the Bitcoin technicals first. So we have this symmetrical triangle pattern on the four hourly uh, time frame, and we can clearly see We've, we've been in this uh, situation now. I mean, we've been going sideways for almost 100 days. If we just go back to the week, was I looking at the week earlier? Yeah. So, I mean, we've been here since technically back in February, March. So over three months now, and we have just been going sideways. So yeah, crypto, Bitcoin is boring at the moment, consolidating. We can clearly see on the daily that yesterday we tried to pump past 70k. We got rejected at 70,000 like we did back here on the 27th of May. And uh, we've come back down into this uh, symmetrical triangle pattern. So we're going to measure this in just a second. But we're clearly um, gearing up for a move to the... I believe we're going to go uh, higher going into the summer. I hope we don't dump. If we dump, it doesn't matter. We can just accumulate more Bitcoin. We're in the bull market. We're in that cycle. So if we do dump down to 60K or a lot lower, if you just look at the Fibonacci levels, I mean, you just go here, you get the Fibs out, and uh, you can check out the retracement. Um, but if you're like me, again, not financial advice. Do your own research. You should be dollar cost averaging and what I'm doing is dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and into altcoins, whatever the price. So if Bitcoin continues to consolidate like it has been doing the past 90 days, I'll just be uh, accumulating more uh, each and every week. And yeah, if we go lower, then great, because we buy Bitcoin at lower prices. So what am I seeing right now? Well, this symmetrical triangle pattern and the Bollinger Bands, I took a look at this just a moment ago. We can clearly see right now, let me just zoom out a little bit, there we go, We're, we are tightening up, um, it's not that tight yet uh, for the daily, on the 4 hour, I don't remember, let's just check the 4 hour if it's a little bit tighter here yet, alright, so anyway, anyway, go back to the daily, the Bollinger Bands are, uh, it looks like they're just starting to squeeze up now, so Keep your eyes out on that because it's basically indicating a big move um, coming any day now. Um, possibly, if this continues, especially in the symmetrical triangle pattern that we can see here, um, we've probably only got until the 9th before something happens. So let me just get rid of this. So yeah, the Bollinger Bands are squeezing up on the daily and we are maximum the 9th or 10th of June, so in about less than a week we should be breaking out of this symmetrical triangle pattern. So if we break to the upside, so we've we've tried to break to the upside twice already uh, in the month of May, um, but we got rejected at 70K or just over 70K. And then yesterday we got rejected around the 70K mark and we've come back down into this channel. So if we do break this pattern here, we probably in the next few days, most likely towards the end of the week, we're gonna see, um, maybe a pump to the upside, or if we break the resistance, the support, sorry, then we'll probably come back down and start retesting the 65K levels. So anyway, just measuring this, what is the price point of this breakout? If we do break out, let's say uh, the end of this week, so on the 7th, then I'll just stick it there. And the price point here would be there we go, just over our last all time at almost 74,000 US dollars. So if, again, I'm waiting for a swing long position, so I'm waiting for that clear breakout of around 74K, 
or we have that uh, pull back down to 60k. So I'm looking at 60k level as a potential swing long position with a low leverage, 2, 3x, that's it. Um, and the same again if we pump past uh, 74k. So if you're doing day trading, then this situation could be quite interesting for you. Um, again, don't start trading now. None of this is financial advice, of course. Wait for the breakout. Over the next few days, if we do break out around these levels of uh, 69k, uh, 700 on the 7th or 8th or whatever, then start looking uh, at this uh, potential um, trade that you could go into, which would be a trade of approximately 5 6%. So it's not too bad. So again, you just take your uh, stop loss at 1%, so that should be back inside the channel here if we reverse, and that would be a risk to reward ratio of almost, yeah, it's five to one uh, risk to reward ratio. So there's a nice little trade set up there if we break with um, with a lot of volume coming in. Again, just bearing in mind, we've been rejected at 70K a couple of times already. So there is this possibility that if we do break out, we get rejected at 70K and we come back. So it's very, very important, risk man proper risk management, have a half a percent level or one percent maximum if you're going to lose anything. And as soon as this starts pumping to the upside, then the next key level of resistance will be at our last all time high of around seventy three and a half thousand uh, US uh, dollars. So, again, just as soon as we start going up there as well, just make sure you um, use proper risk management, put a stop loss at your uh, entry price so that you can break even if it reverses on us. So it's a nice little setup here if you're doing day trading. Personally, I will not be taking this even if we pump out. It will be interesting to see if this happens. I'm still waiting for that um, breakout past that 73,500 to 74K for a swing long or down here at 60,000 for another swing long position. But that's just me. I don't really do day trading. I don't have time for it. Um, swing trading for me is uh, a lot more comfortable because I only do it three to five times a year. So that's pretty much it for uh, Bitcoin. Just jumping over into the Bitcoin dominance. So as you can see, we've got this, um, it used to be support, now it's uh, resistance, and which is good because we want the Bitcoin dominance to fall. And we've been rejected uh, once, twice. We did go above it a little bit here, but now, yeah, we've been rejected again. Um, in this uh, channel that I uh, drew a few, uh, I think it was last week, I don't even remember, but this is the four hour, let's go to the daily so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. So we got rejected off it, we've come back up, we're getting rejected off it again, which is good. We don't want to keep testing this because it means we'll go back into, the, into this channel um, and then the Bitcoin dominance. What we don't want to see is something like this where we do push through it and come back into here uh, because then the altcoins are going to suffer. What we want to see is to get rejected off this and then come back down to these levels uh, in the early uh, 50s, 51, 52%, because then we will have a massive altcoin rally and possibly that altcoin season, which we're all expecting. So could we be seeing uh, in the summer, so now we're in June, maybe July or August, an epic altcoin season like we've never seen before so let me know in the comments section below um, some of these news articles quite interesting you know whales in the crypto space are gearing up for altcoin season so the big players the big institutions they will be getting ready to mop up i believe ai crypto and uh, in the gaming um, sphere of crypto most likely the narrative will be the AI um, cryptocurrencies, which could be the catalyst for an altcoin season. But I'm mainly big into gaming. I think gaming is going to be huge as well. But those two things, it's going to be interesting to see if AI and gaming lead the way in this altcoin season. So let me know if you agree with me, if you think AI and crypto gaming or just one of them will be the narrative of the, the crypto uh, market this time. If you think the altcoin season will be uh, for uh, those two categories. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which altcoins 
uh, you're jumping into in those two categories because I'm always interested in seeing new projects that I don't know of and um, yeah I'll do more research uh, into them so that's pretty much it for today's episode I did say it was going to be a quick one just going over to crypto bubbles uh, it's still the meme coins that are outperforming everything else if we look at this yeah so the not coin it's just come down slightly um, like I said I'm not buying this until we go back down a little bit lower if I do buy it um, you can get it on quite a few major exchanges, um, but we're quite high anyway for the week. We're still up, yeah, 150%. Earlier, we are up, what, 200%. So just be careful FOMOing into projects, especially when you start seeing 100 200% gains. It's easy just to start buying. Just wait for the pullbacks. And then if you want to buy this or any others, um, just wait for those pullbacks and then dollar cost average. Don't just chase the market or FOMO into what everybody else is doing so it seems that the meme coins um yeah are doing outperforming everything else there's obviously other stuff that's doing well it's going to be interesting like chile is with the european uh championship uh it was in the football world and then also in the copper america to see if chile's uh does well as uh those two tournaments uh are about to uh, kick off so not really a lot happening in the altcoins for the day and for the week, but let's hope, let's see what happens with that Bitcoin dominance. And again, let me know in the comments what you are buying. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys and girls for sticking around to the end. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button or that dislike button. That's no problem. And I will see you with another video next time. Bye-bye.